The Arizona State women's basketball team returned, not just to Desert Financial Arena, but to action for the first time since December 30th, and left tonight's game with an overtime victory over the 22nd ranked Colorado Buffaloes by a score of 57 to 52. Tonight's game was a defensive battle, and it started right out of the gates. Miles Giles recorded three blocks in the first quarter, as her and the rest of the Sun Devil defense forced 15 first-half Buffalo turnovers. Mm -hmm. I mean, we beat them on the rebounds, beat them on blocks. Like we had help side. Like <laughs> we've we've been struggling with that, and today we really had that. So, you know, I'm pretty really really proud of our team for our defensive effort. However, Colorado freshman Kendall Weta did her part to keep her team in the game. She had a career-high eight steals tonight, six of them coming in the first half, and her defense propelled Colorado to go on a late first-half run and a one-point lead at the half. The second half started with a solid run from ASU, which featured back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back threes on consecutive possessions from Taya Hansen, who finished with 17 points, and Myle Giles, who finished with 8 points of her own. However, Colorado's defense swung the momentum quickly in their favor. With solid defense enforcing ASU to make mistakes, the Buffs were able to claw back and send the game to overtime. But from there, it became a free throw shooting contest, and that's where the Devils shine the most. CTT's team went to the free throw line 20 times in overtime, which allowed ASU to upset ranked Colorado. Despite all the positive takeaways of beating a ranked team at home, Arizona State only managed to get to the free throw line four times tonight in regulation, all of those chances coming in the second half. And as a key for head coach Charlie Turner Thorne and her team moving forward, it starts with getting aggressive and getting to the charity strike. But I do think we got more aggressive, and that is something we have to add to our, our game, we have to get to the free throw line. You know, we're, we're missing that offense in some games, and we, we did really talk about that coming back from Christmas. It's, you know, and I think we just rushed. The Sun Devils will return to action on Sunday afternoon, where they'll take on the high-scoring Utah Utes. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Kevin Later.